What makes the church the one place in the world where people from all types of backgrounds and cultures can be unified? Well, we all share the same gift from Jesus Christ and salvation. You know, this past year has shown us that we can become divided over so many different things. And in Philippians chapter two, we see a church that Paul loved dearly. And he loves this church so much that he wasn't afraid to point out a unity problem that needed to be addressed. Now, unity in the church can be difficult because we all have preferences and ideas on how church should be. But being grounded in God's word and the salvation of Jesus Christ means those preferences might need to be set aside at times. Listen to what Paul writes in Philippians chapter two, verses one through four. Is there any encouragement from belonging to Christ? Any comfort from his love? Any fellowship together in the spirit? Are your hearts tender and compassionate? Then make me truly happy by agreeing wholeheartedly with each other, loving one another and working together with one mind and one purpose. Don't be selfish. Don't try to impress others. Be humble thinking of others as better than yourselves. Don't look out only for your own interest, but take an interest in others too. You see, the world continues to push the notion. Don't worry about others, but worry about yourself. But this isn't what the Bible calls us to do. Instead, the Bible commands us to not cause division between our brothers and sisters in Christ. It's not a don't care about yourself and only care about others attitude, but an attitude that makes you more selfless instead of selfish. In verses five through 11, Paul points to Christ's example as the one who was most selfless instead of selfish. Christ humbled himself so that you and I might be saved from our sins and submit to his lordship, which is the ultimate selfless act. Here's the deal. Christians who love one another as Jesus has loved us and count others more significant than themselves will be people who have unity with one another.